In this video, we'll be creating a web crawler to scrape the search engine results page, otherwise referred to as SERPs, for specific key phrases. Furthermore, we'll be exporting the scrape data to Google Sheets. Understanding how to do such a task will help you border the line of a technical marketeer's role, gaining valuable SEO insights. We'll be using Simple Scraper for this project. You can install Simple Scraper at simplescraper.io. You'll need to be using Google Chrome in order to install it. You can use Simple Scraper's free plan for this project. However, if you want to export to Google Sheets as I will be doing, you will need to upgrade. You can sign up for Google Sheets at google.com forward slash sheets forward slash about. Google Sheets is free, so you need not worry about pricing. As mentioned, for this project, we're going to be scraping the SERP data for specific key phrases. We're going to start with the key phrases of buy a Bitcoin and then scrape the SERP data for buy Ethereum and buy cryptocurrency. For each result that appears on the first page of Google for those phrases, what we're going to do is scrape the URL, the title tag, and the meta description. The idea behind doing this will be for you, as a marketeer, to gain SEO insights as to how you can optimize your title tag and meta description to improve your search results in Google. For convenience, I've timestamped this video in the description. And just from a legal standpoint, I've linked an article there which highlights the legalities of web scraping. Before we crawl for all the key phrases we want to check, I want to scrape the first key phrase buy Bitcoin. I want to make sure that it returns the correct data before scraping the other phrases. So to begin, you'll want to head over to the following URL, google.com forward slash search question mark Q equals buy plus Bitcoin. That URL will return the first page of results for the phrase we're searching for, buy Bitcoin. As mentioned, what we're going to do is scrape the URL, title tag, and meta description of each result on the first page of Google. Now, with the Simple Scraper extension open, it will allow us to select the first data point we want to scrape by clicking the plus sign. Of course, the first data point that we want to scrape is the URL. Everything of which is highlighted in green is what will get scraped. And if we scroll down, we can make sure that every URL on the first page of the Google results, excluding the ads of course, has been highlighted in green. Because as mentioned, that is what will get scraped when we run this scraper. We can name this data point URL and click the tick to set this data point for when we run the scraper. Second, we want the title. Again, we click the plus sign. Then we select the title tag, which is this. Once we've selected it, we can see that it is highlighted in green everything that will get scraped. And if we scroll down the first page of the Google results, we can make sure that that is the case. And if everything is okay, from here, we can then name this data point title, and then click the tick sign for when we run this scraper in just a moment. Finally, we want to scrape the description. So again, we click the plus sign, and then we select the meta description for a search result. And we can see it has highlighted in green everything that will get scraped. And if we just scroll down the page again for the first page of the results, we can make sure that that is the case. And if everything looks good from your side, 
you can name this data point description and click the tick for when we run this scraper. To run the scraper, click view results. Once the scraper has run, Simple Scraper will work its magic and return the data points we selected URL, title, and description. Now we're going to take this a step further, turning this web scraper into a web crawler to get the URL, title, and description on all the key phrases that we wish to without more manual scraping. Before we configure our crawler, we must save the settings for this scraper, otherwise referred to as recipes in Simple Scraper. To save your recipe, click Save Recipe on the left hand side. Once clicked, you'll be prompted to complete this page. Let's do it. Recipe name? I'll write SERP Crawler. URL? We can leave that as it is, you'll see why soon. Selected properties, URL, title, and description. These are the data points that we selected when we created the scraper. Page navigation, again, we can leave that as it is. What we can now do is click create recipe. Once you've saved your recipe, it should appear under my recipes on the left hand side. Click onto that recipe that you just created. Once you're there, click integrate along the top. Here is where we can activate our Google Sheet. What this means is that once we run our crawler, it will export the results into a Google Sheet for us. From there, we can analyze our scraped data. To activate the Google Sheets export, simply click the toggle button. Then for a save method, I want to replace previous results. This means that every time our crawler runs, it will replace the data that is already within the sheet rather than add to it. Now, of course, we haven't run our crawler yet, so there will be no data in this Google Sheet. So let's move on to running our crawler. When we went through the initial scraper setup, we scraped the URL, title, and description of one key phrase on Google, ensuring it returned the correct data, that phrase being buy Bitcoin. So now that we've defined the data points of URL, title, and description for one key phrase on Google, we can go to crawl, which you'll find along the top, and command our crawler to get the same data for other key phrases. Let's say one of the key phrases we want the URL, title, and description of is buy Bitcoin. We'll do others in just a moment. Well, if that was the case, we'd enter the following URL into crawl URLs google.com forward slash search question mark Q equals buy plus Bitcoin. That URL will return the first page of results for the phrase we're searching for. We'd repeat the same style of link for each key phrase we want data on. Hence, we'd get the URL, title, and description for those. Now let's say that we want data on two more key phrases. Those two key phrases being by Ethereum and by cryptocurrency. We would enter those URLs into crawl URLs in the following manner. So by Ethereum, will be written as follows, google.com forward slash search question mark Q equals by and then plus and then we'd simply enter Ethereum. And what we can do from here is check this URL. So if we just copy this URL, then head over back to Google and search, we can make sure that the URL is actually correct. And as we can see, it returns the first page of Google results for buy Ethereum. So we know that the URL works because we don't want to run our scraper and then find out that we entered the URL incorrectly. So it's best to do it before running your URL scraper. So let's go back to simple scraper now 
and finish off with our crawl URLs. And the next key phrase we'll want to check is buy cryptocurrency. So that will be google.com forward slash search question mark q equals buy plus and then we'd simply write cryptocurrency. Again, what I want to do is check this before we run our crawler. So I'll hover over it, highlight it all, copy it, head back to Google and paste that in and search. And as we can see once again, it returns the correct results. So we know that when we run our crawler, that it is scraping the correct URLs. Let's head over back to Simple Scraper now. By the way, the plus sign in the URLs, that separates the words. Without the plus sign, it would simply be one long word, not a phrase. So now we have the three URLs that we want our crawler to scrape when we run it. It'll scrape the URL, title and description for each of those key phrases and it will just return the first page of results. So to run this crawler, click Run Recipe in the top right hand corner. Simple Scraper will then crawl those URLs and return the data that we wanted to obtain, ours being URL, title and description. The crawler takes varying amounts of time to run depending on how many URLs you want it to crawl. The more, the longer it takes. Now if we navigate to the results page, which we can find along the top, we can see that our crawler has been through the URLs and returned the data points that we requested. It also attaches other information which we can delete when we export the data. But it has crawled what we wanted it to in order to gain SEO insights. From here, the data will automatically get exported into our sheet. We can view the data in our Google Sheet if we go to the Integrate tab and click Open Google Sheet. Here, you could delete unnecessary columns, sort the sheet and more. You can use this data to optimize your title and description if these are terms you're trying to rank for. This project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this no code project, please give this video a like. And if you want to be notified of the latest no code projects that I publish every week, please subscribe. I'll see you in another no code project.